Hi, this is Art TV New York. Welcome to People. Today we have an artist, Nina Xu. Hi, Nina. How are you? Hi, very good. So, how did you become an artist? Is there any stories to share with us? For me, art is actually like my first love.、Um, I can never forget. It looks you know, far away, but actually has been always occupying a central position in my heart. You know, the regular life, you know, is quite boring, which has already restrained my passion for many years. Until finally, I made the decision to start my journey to New York City for my dream. So, make a change to get a life. It's my goal when I come to New York City to be an artist. So then it comes to a very classic question. So why finally、uh, you choose New York?、Um, everybody knows New York City. You know, has a lot of fun.、Um, it's the great city in the world. It's the art capital of the world as well. So you can find anything here. I mean, a lot of famous museums, galleries, art studios, and auction houses. It's also you know, a kind of place you can meet a lot of very interesting people with different background from different countries. So you can learn a fusion of culture. You can also learn from each other. It's also a city、um, full of aspiration and、uh, opportunities, especially for artists. I mean, like me. Um, I mean, the soil in the city is quite fertile. Besides,、uh, the city enables you to find the inner freedom. It's a kind of spiritual freedom. So、um, it's very important to artists, you know, to break through all the constraints, all the boundaries, and create art without any limitation and、uh, restraints. So for me, New York City is quite magical and unique, which、uh, not any other can compare with in the world. So as a new generation、uh, representative of abstract art of Oriental ideography, so what's your understanding of contemporary art?、Um, it's a quite tough question actually, because you know it's difficult to define contemporary art, even among the critics. Contemporary art is also quite controversial,、um, but this is also the most appealing part for me, since almost everybody can give definition to contemporary art. So for me, contemporary art is to continuously break through the boundary of tradition, regardless of contents or forms. Um, from Duchamp to Andy Warhol、um, to Maria, the famous performance artists, you know, all of them were breaking the boundaries. No matter whether their artworks are urinals or maybe the Prince of Cans or the Simple Gazing Act, all of them can be regarded as art. So、um, I suppose the core of contemporary art should be artist himself or herself, as well as. His or her creative idea, and the other factors like materials, techniques, and、uh, um, forms should be less important than contemporary art. I mean, the conception should be the most important key.、Um, so when art is becoming irrational and、uh, separated from techniques, it can be a kind of belief. So for me, art is just a belief. So, what's your mental state when you're doing art? Is it like you spend a lot of time、uh, planning, thinking, plotting, or when you have inspirations, you just start? And generally speaking, I created my works based on my own feelings. All my works actually reflected my inner world.、Um, it's also a kind of fruition for me.、Um, but all the works, you know, did not arise from. Uh, some deliberate planning or plotting. It's、um, actually, you know, far from the logic and the rationality. I mean, it's a kind of very important、uh, breakthrough and、uh, untapped、uh, part of my personality because you know my regular life restrained me a lot. I can find the freedom in the process of creation. The process is just like、uh, doing yoga, in which、um, I felt, you know, myself. Fully relaxed and imaginative, and、uh, seek the sense of art by unleashing my soul. You know, it's a kind of、uh, 
feeling, you know, I find my previous dream, I think. I think I was just like a three-year-old kid when I was painting. I was very emotional and very pure, very primitive because you know, three years old kid should be the most carefree stage in life. Um, so everything, you know, just um, getting back to zero, to simple. So I should say, you know, the painting enabled me to find uh, my inner freedom. Um, I think it's very um, critical to artists, only artists um, created from their inner heart can they capture the sparkling moment to touch themselves as well as the viewers. So I learned your works are conveyed uh, through um, artistic conceptions, so uh, what are they? Pretty much so, but more precisely, it's a kind of uh, experience. Actually, you know, all my artworks has no specific topic and uh, subject. Um, for me, uh, what matters more for me is a kind of viewer's experience. Um, I mean, the sensation when I was creating art and the viewer's interpretation of the artwork when they are looking at my works should be both critical, um, each viewer's experience you know, should be unique and different. So our joint presence enables the man artwork more complete, which is also the meaning of my works. So I hope my works can achieve the fusion of three um, artistic conceptions like motivational conception, artist conception, as well as the viewer's conception. Okay, so could you explain more details about the conceptions? Sure. Um, the motivational conception means what drives the artist to creative. Um, the artist's conception means uh, what the artist tends to convey, to deliver, to express. The viewer's conception means the viewer's experience and interpretation of the artwork. So when the three different parts resonate with each other, the abstract art of oriental ideography achieved its final consummation. So you have the exhibition in New York this time. It's called BU, uh, pronounced Bu in Chinese. Yeah. So uh, could you explain the topic and the content of this exhibition? Sure, and this series consists of seven pieces and the theme is Bu, as you mentioned. Um, Bu is pronounced in the same way as No in Chinese, which means negativity and uh, subversion. Um, so I shall learn to say no to previous habits, to traditional principles and conventions in order to be different. So um, it's a kind of process by which you gradually have a very clear view of yourself and reshape yourself. It's like a peeling of onion layer by layer so you can shake off your disguise in public and uh, have a very sincere conversation with your heart. Um, so it's a, um, to negate yourself is to better believe and to get some reborn, just like the nirvana of a phoenix, which needs a kind of great courage as well as the wisdom of self-recognition. Um, to discharge your burden and lift your soul and get over all the obstacles in your mind. So for me, the paint and the brush should be the best tool for my remoting. Bu has double meaning actually, um, it's also pronounced in the same way as cross in Chinese. So um, I select um, the purest color like uh, um, red, green, blue, white, black, have the paints brushed on the wood boards until well mixed. Spray and cover brush by brush. The process is just like weaving beautiful cloths without any complicated patterns, but the lively colors with dots, lines, shapes to reflect a, a kind of mental process of self-transformation. So again, no rules, no convention, just follow my heart. So I learned that New York is your first stop of the exhibition, so is there any future plans? 
Sure. Um, yeah, um, the exhibition in New York City uh, shall be the first stop of my World Art Tour. Um, I'm also um, planning to hold the other one in Beijing Cao Changdi Gallery of Art by the end of this year. Um, I will also travel to European countries, the key cities like Rotterdam, Paris, London, and Florence to continue my exhibition and join in international art fairs and events in the following two years. Besides, um, I will join in the group exhibitions organized by Chinese Painters Association, where I'm actually serving as a council member. So anyway, no, I'm pretty much looking forward to all of these exhibitions. Okay, sounds very excited. I'm looking forward to your exhibitions as well. So thanks for being here. And, Thank you. Um, and wish you great success for your exhibition. Thank you so much. Thank you.